Morning guys, we are on week five of 20 of lean bulking, doing a little bit of a physique check-in before we start today's vlog. And uh, got that dad bod still going on. Last night guys, I had this huge French toast meal before bed. I actually had French toast and Captain Crunch. I'm actually pretty hungry. Pretty hungry? I'm pretty full from that meal because the low calorie bread that I used is filled with fiber and I hadn't had low calorie bread in a really long time. So just a ton of fiber. I also had eight pieces of French toast. So that might have had something to do with it. But regardless, what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to give you guys a little bit of a pro tip, some advice is don't eat just to eat, especially in the morning. Like if you eat breakfast, just to eat breakfast, just because it's a thing people do, I highly recommend just saving your calories for the times of the day that you're the hungriest. If you wake up in the morning and you're not hungry, don't feel like you have to eat breakfast for some reason. Just fast and wait and have lunch later in the day or even later than that if you're still not hungry and just save the calories for when you are your hungriest. Still on that hazelnut life, guys. Cracking open a new package today. You gotta hit the strong button. Or did you even really make coffee? I kinda wanna show you guys a deep dive into my spreadsheet, which is really what's guiding me in terms of lean bulking and just showing you how everything is going in terms of numbers wise, because this is what I use to make all my adjustments and keep myself on track. So I'll probably do a screen grab of my spreadsheet here and I'll show you guys exactly what's been going on. So first and foremost, this is the last week of this month cycle. So I have an average weight for the month and my average weight for the month is 212.85 at this moment, at today's weigh-in. Now that's gonna change by the end of this week because obviously there will be more weigh-ins. Then I'm up 0.61% of my body weight from last month. I'm only trying to be up about a half a percent of my body weight each month, but I do have to take into consideration that I had like three or four heavy weigh-ins because of Thanksgiving, and that probably threw things off a little bit. So I'm probably realistically right in at about half a percent of my body weight gain, a real number compared to last month's average weights. So right now, this week, I'm averaging 213.2. I'm eating about 2,830 calories. Of course, I've definitely been doing a lot more guesstimating because I'm lean bulking, I'm not dieting, so I'm not being exact with all of my numbers. I'm not weighing everything out. I'm having a little bit of freedom. I'm doing more guesstimation. So this is definitely a rough estimation of what my macros and calories have been, but it's good enough, at least for lean bulking. I've been taking in about 273 grams of protein each day, about 47 grams of fat. I've been trying to hit 60 grams of fat, but it just seems like I love carbs more than I like eating fat. And with that being said, I'm always conscious and taking in healthy fats. Every day almost, I eat smoked salmon, I'm getting omega-3 fatty acids into my diet. I don't take fish oil supplements, I like to eat my omega-3s, and that's why I'm constantly eating smoked salmon every day. And then, like I was saying, I'm usually eating a lot more carbs than I have fat, so my carbs have been about 330, and my goal has been 300, but that's just because carbs just taste way better than fats, at least I think so. so. That's sort of a deep dive into my spreadsheet, into what I'm logging into here every day that you see me kind of like drinking my coffee and being on my computer. That's what I'm doing, I'm putting all the numbers in there and then based on what I see from the spreadsheet is how I make my adjustments. I think socks are overrated, guys. I'm not going to the gym today. Typically if I go to the gym, I'll wear socks because you gotta wear socks if you go to the gym. But if I don't have to put socks on, I don't put socks on. I also don't like to tie my shoes. It's a waste of time too. You guys think work is out this door? You think if I open this door, we're gonna go to work? That's not work. That's, that's my that's my apartment. Let's try again. Check it out, dudes. We are super festive at the restaurant. We got all of our holiday decorations up. I just made some lunch, made some chicken, kept it. It's a pretty poverty lunch, actually, because I ran out of oats. My oat stash behind the clock over here, it's empty. So just doing chicken and hot sauce today. It's like 150 grams of chicken and just drinking as much water as I possibly can. It's almost an entire gallon gone and it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. So doing good with the hydration. One of the longest running things on the channel is why it's awesome to own a restaurant, especially Duff's. And I think one of my favorite reasons for owning this place is free hot sauce. Hot sauce is like one of my favorite condiments, if not, well, 
G Hughes barbecue sauce is like taking the number one spot, but this is a close second. And it's like Frank's hot sauce, but just a little less spicy than Frank's hot sauce. Super good. Dad showed up at the office. Uh, what are you what? doing with Direct TV? You're gonna lie to him. I gotta You're lie gonna, to him. Just tell Direct TV you went back to cable. I went back to cable. I don't want your service. I don't want to hurt their feelings. Oh. <laughs> All right. I love you, Dad. Okay. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. All right. We are on our way out of here. I'm probably gonna head to the grocery store, get some stuff. Pretty much out of almost everything. All right, guys. So we are back home from the grocery store, back home from work. Figured I'd just show you guys what I got from the store. I pretty much cleared out the entire store of Kim Pops. I've been really, really obsessed with these a lot more than I even was before. Just like, I don't know. I love the crunch. I'm addicted to the crunch. Maybe the macros are awesome. Two grams of carbs per pop. They're just way better than rice cakes. So if you can find them, try to buy as many as you can, like I did at the store. I think that's like eight packages of Kim Pops. I just, I, I'm afraid of running out, I guess. Uh, picked up some pure vanilla extract, because a lot of my recipes have vanilla extract. Picked up some unsweetened Hershey's cocoa powder, because my morning shakes, I always put some cocoa powder in them. Some Ribita rye crackers for the smoked salmon. Some super greens, which is kale, spinach, Swiss chard, arugula. Uh, is there arugula? No, there's no arugula. It's just kale, spinach, and Swiss chard. I add arugula and sorrel usually to this. Pretty much just pick this up because of health, guys. Because as far as micronutrients goes, I don't think it gets more micronutrient dense than kale, spinach, and Swiss chard. So try to have a serving of two or two of this every day. And then underneath there, I got a club pack of chicken for the proteins. Got some unsweetened vanilla almond breeze almond cashew milk. Got some shrimp for the proteins. Got some pancake syrup for the uh, French toast that I'm probably gonna make here in a second because I've been on this like French toast kick lately. Of course, I had to pick up more of my boy here, G Hughes, the sugar-free hickory smoked barbecue sauce. I feel like I'm so late to this game, but this is just a game changer, guys. Two grams of carbs for 30 grams of barbecue sauce. Are you kidding me? And it's delicious. Everybody, who I've let try this, I get addicted to it. So pick that up if you can find it. I heard Walmart has this stuff. And they have the maple, I think, there, which is supposed to be even better than the hickory. And the hickory is awesome. Also got pretzels, because you know I love pretzels. And then for more protein, 99% lean ground turkey, which of course is probably just going to be covered by Mr. G Hughes over here. Kind of been a weird day of eating. Instead of having my shake for breakfast and having it at 5.30 at night instead, I've only had chicken so far today. But basically the same ingredients that is always, that are always in my morning shake, except some oats showed up in the shake. So it didn't even take me 10 minutes to drink that entire shake. I've got like a shake baby in my belly right now. You know when people say they got a food baby in their belly? Well, mine's a shake baby because that was over a liter of chocolate protein shake. It was very delicious, so delicious that I drank it way too fast, but still kind of hungry, so I'm gonna have some Kim Pops. Actually, I'm gonna have all of these Kim Pops. The thing about Kim Pops is I can't just have one. I have to eat the entire sleeve. It's a problem. If I open up a bag, gotta eat the whole thing. But listen to this crunch, guys. This is why Kim Pops are far superior to rice cakes. Listen to this. You will never get the crunch of a Kim Pop in a rice cake. That and it actually tastes like something. Mm, mm, mm. What, it's what kind of soup broccoli. Oh my god. It's broccoli. No, there's it's broccoli not broccoli. There? Exactly. There's no broccoli. What is it? It's chicken, lemon, and rice. I'm not having chicken, lemon, and rice soup. I've got my own dinner prepared over here. A couple of sirloin steaks. It's like 320 grams. Between the two of them, a sweet potato, like 450 grams of that. Some peppers and onions a bowl of peas, like a serving and a half of peas. And then I think I have like five or six, probably five and a half, I'm just gonna say six servings of pretzels. I didn't weigh anything, so just estimating on the pretzels, but I'm gonna go eat this and uh, watch some curb with the fam. So that's what's going on. 
Yeah, so it's that time of the night, guys, where you plug all of your macros into MyFitnessPal from the day, and then you just see how many macros you have left, and then you make your last meal fit whatever those macros are that you have left. So that's exactly what I did. I've got 210 grams of some frozen blueberries because half of my calories today have been pretzels. So I just want to add a little bit more health into today's day of eating. And then I've got some shredded chicken, about 180 grams of the shredded chicken with my boy over here, GH Hughes. And then I'm gonna also have some Almond Breeze Almond Cashew Milk. Macros today, I'm gonna finish at 262 protein, 347 carb, which is 47 grams over my goal of 300 grams. 38 grams of fiber, that's a nice fiber total for me, and that's mainly because I eat tons of pretzels, so I cut that fiber number down, and then I'm gonna end at 40 grams of fat, and I'm trying to hit 60 grams of fat, but I never hit 60 grams of fat. And then overall, calorie-wise, I ended up at 27.95, I'm trying to hit like 28.50 right now. So pretty good on the calories, pretty good on the macros. Hope you guys enjoyed today's full day of eating, today's lean bulking diary entry. I guess since I'm calling this the Lean Bulking Diet Diaries now. So uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. I'm going to bed. Have a good night, guys. Bye.